Boom. That's right. Boom. I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Here's the deal. Friends, listen. I opened this freaking channel. I got to show you something before we even get started. I'm in one heck of a mode. Did you catch that? Heck. And darn it. All the way from right straight through now. No more H-E-L-L. No more D-A-M. We're going heck. Aronis. And darn it. Yes, we are. Now, I built an axe yesterday, and I, I, I'm going to tell you something. So, friends, if you've received some of my axes, I want to talk to you real quick. I'm, I'm probably going to get sidetracked, but we're going to we're going to go some comments, and that's the part I can't take anymore. I can't take it anymore. Listen, I'll go back to that. This axe, friends, you, if you've received my axes. When I first started making axes, I would leave my handle. I would kind of, sometimes I would sand them up after the walk. It makes such a beautiful, like glass, friends. It does. Yours is, may not be like that. And there's a reason for it. If you've swung an axe as much as I have, friends, this, this finish of glassness is lovely. And if you have my axe, if you have my, one of my axes, and it's just natural right off the burn, like I, I won't. If you want to sand it, go ahead. But, but I don't do it because of this heat. It creates heat and friction. Your hands will get hot and you can blister easier. That's the straight up reason why I didn't do it. Now, so if you've got, because it, it's glorious. It's a different finish when you sand it. It comes up smooth and soft like sanded wood. But it's lovely. It is. But I don't do it to my personal axes. And I thought to myself, well... I swing an axe. These people are going to swing an axe. I'm going to leave it. So that's why. So if you've got my axe and you think, oh, it's a little bit rough because when you burn it, it kind of brings the grain and changes the grain a bit. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, give it a light sanding, 80 grit, somewhere there, 80, just, and it'll change it for you if you, if you want. But it does change the, yeah. Okay. This axe head, friends, was broken. Someone welded it. You can see it. I figured it out. They did a heck of a job. But anyways, I put this sucker together <laughs> yesterday. And there's a little Instagram video I did. Friends, listen. Have you been over to my Instagram? If you friends, just made this axe. Like, just freaking made it. It's deadly. It's a jurors. Sweetie, 28 inch handle, going out right now to throw it. I'm a little scared, I'm a little startled, I'll be honest with you. I quite frankly, I am. Here's the target. I don't know what's gonna go down, but I'm gonna put you here and we're gonna go for it. Let's try it. Bullseye! <laughs> Over and out, friends. over to my Instagram let's go over to that platform and pound it up a little bit anyways I think I got about 25,000 friends we got 160,000 people here let's go over to my Instagram I will do more stuff over there I want to go over to Instagram and do some stuff I'm gonna start I used to go live on Instagram friends and I haven't in a while and I'm going to it's fun you can bring people in did you know that on Instagram so I can go live and say you're watching me on Instagram you can request Hey, Buck, and it's so-and-so. I just may bring you on for a chat skis. I may not, but I may. It's cool. It's fun. Listen, back to the reason I started this freaking video. I have had enough of this. I turn my head and you guys come into the comment section and crack down about 250, 300 comments. And where's the time? Where does a guy find the time to get in there and, and freaking check it out? Well, he doesn't. He does sometimes and he goes off for about an hour at 3.30 in the morning and answers a bunch of comments. So what I'm gonna do right now, oh yeah, I am, is I'm going to, is I'm going to YouTube, bang, there I am. On the latest video, we hammered that little apple tree with those limbs, it did okay though, it did real good actually. There we are. Okay, 
Okay, here we are. You people, here's the deal. I don't like not being able to answer comments all the time. I just don't like it. It's, I used to answer every freaking comment. I was talking to Nick's, Nick's Pixel TV. If you guys haven't been over there, the guy makes really good quality videos. I don't do a ton of shout outs, like for channels and stuff. Like I, I have to really scope out the channel and that. You see this fella right here? Look at the big eating grin he's got on his, look at him. He's got the big Shasta eating grin. There he is. Did you mean Nick Pixel TV, Bickin' Billy Ray? Bickin', I sure the heck did. See, heck, there you go again. He's got 1.62K subscribers, which is 1,600 and 200. You guys know that. 88 videos and they're all great. Well, I can't say all because I haven't seen them all. But the ones I've seen, like this one right here, you want to talk about a good fella? Look at his face. Look at Nick. Uh oh, what happened? There it goes. Inspire. This is my message to you. I love it. Go watch that video, friends. It'll give you a real feel for who this guy is, Nick Pixel. He freaking helped me out like crazy techie-wise. He's a tech guy. Nick, I know you're watching this going, darn it, Buck, and you shouldn't have done that. Well, guess what? Too bad, buddy. You're a good fella, and you deserve it. Now, friends, pop over and see this fella. Let's give him a sub, but don't sub because I said so. Watch his videos. Check him out. Get a feel for it. Feel. Don't think. Feel. Check him out, friends. Over and out. Back to the video. And he helps the community out like crazy. It's Nick Pixel TV. He's a great guy. Go check him out. If I'm smart enough and, and with it today, I'll put a link in this video or in the description for Nick Pixel TV. If you need a hand with your techie stuff, he's one heck of a man. I did it again. Did you catch that? Heck, our brains are interesting creatures. We have a choice, friends, what we're going to spit out of our mouths. We do. We have a choice. I feel it when I'm about to say that word and I change it. I literally just did it and I will continue to do so because I love when the family sit down and watch me and allow me into your front room and your homes after work and everybody comes home, hardworking Americans and Canadians and all over the world. They come home and they turn on the TV and the kids come and sit on your lap. That's what excites me. And knowing that it's a safe place for your kids to sit around and watch with you guys makes my heart pound. So that's good. So let's do this. And this is how it's going to go right here. Um, dun, 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 dun. Bang. Newest comments. Everett Mirror. Thank you for making me feel like I always have a friend here, Buckin. Everett, buddy, welcome. And, and thank you for saying that. Because that's truly what this is, friends, the comment section. If you're new here and you haven't popped into the comment section, friends, do it. Pop in, say hello to some people here. You'll see the same names all the time. Start a conversation because you know what, friends? Our landscape right now all over the world is a little bumpy. It is, it's a little bumpy. But how are you to know a smooth road until you hit a few bumps and potholes along the way? How are you to know? What if you always had a smooth road and you never knew what it was like to have a bumpy road? How, how would you know to compare? You wouldn't know anything, any difference. It would all be the same. Well, friends, our landscape is bumpy right now, but we're going to come out the other side, arm in arm, loving each other, helping each other, more conscientious, more spiritual, more grounded, more in tune, generally in tune about our surroundings, and each other. That's what's happening, friends. Make no mistake. We're coming out of this better. And it ain't going to take long. We're going to blink, and we're going to be like, man, oh man, remember that back in 2020? I mean, what better of a year for it to happen? 2020. It's a good year. Okay. <clears throat> Off-road, Utah. Love seeing those saws run, the Husky and Dalmar can really chuck the chips. Off-road Utah, they can, my friend. Yes, they can. Sticks, my mom, what did you order, an axe? Me, it's hickory. <laughs> Sticks, welcome, buddy. Bob Purrs. Mr. Bobby, you've been around here for a long time. I wish I could freaking answer these comments way more. Kenny S., stay well, stay safe. Uh, the Army, Bobby Purrs, thank you, buddy. Kenny S., Hey, Buckin, you have more chainsaws than the average kid has toys. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Well, I sure hope not. But there's something to come there too, friends. I got some plans for that 
that room in there. We're, we we got some plans, friends. Just trust me on that one. Stick around. You'll see it happen. And it won't take long. Now, here's a man, H.R. Shaw. Look at this fella. Hey, Buck, and how's Bobo doing? Thanks for asking. Bobo is now in a home, friends. Another home. She was in the hospital, member. She's in a home. That's also temporary, friends. She's in there for a little while. With everything going on right now, we can't even go there. We can't even, we can't go there. So mom's been in a little bit doing the social thing, distancing thing. So she's good and thanks for asking, brother. Killing Kina. Killing Kina. Killing Kina. Killing Kina. How are you? Killing Kina. Love the content. Right on. Welcome, brother. Kane Croft. Really enjoy watching that, Buck, and thanks. Kane, you're welcome, buddy. It's what I do for a living, so I enjoy the heck out of it. I did it again. Heck. See? I'm on the game now. It's done. It's happening. We did it. I love it. John W. It's a great feeling when you can sharpen your chainsaw, then go out and see it cut like this. I'm only just getting some consistency with it now after years of not always satisfactory results. Some of your tips have been very helpful. Thanks, Buck. And John W., you're more than welcome, brother. Friends, I'm going to be honest with you right now. I'm going to stop. I'm going to talk about something right now. Friends, I saw a big YouTuber. Big. Um, talking about the proper way to do things. Sharpening a power saw was one of them. And chopping things and doing things in, in, in the industry that I'm in. Um... It was difficult. It was difficult to watch. So it it basically was the catalyst. So I owe that man a thank you, actually. I do. I owe that man a thank you because he gave me the little shove down the, down the bridge, down the creek to go to the other side to open up a YouTube channel. So I thank you, sir. I don't like saying names. I, I, I don't, that's a mistake. Unless you're in Nick Pixel TV, it, it, it's, that can get you in trouble. So I don't do it on YouTube. I don't shoot names out. I did that once before and I had to come back and clean up my side of the street. And I did. <clears throat> right? So that this power saw filing thing was the catalyst almost for me opening up my channel, friends. I saw too many videos that with guys with like lots of subscribers. We're talking hundreds and thousands of them. Teach, trying to teach them how to do it. And it, it was it was scary for me. I thought about those people going home and trying these things that the fellow was talking about. And I thought, oh, I can't have this. I can't freaking have it. So that's where it started, friends. Straight up. So that's, hey, that's how it usually goes, right? It is. Lots of businesses are started over resentments. <laughs> right? <laughs> it wasn't a resentment. Tommy's woodpile. Maybe one day you'll give a lesson on safety. Ah, uh, uh, safety. No, 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 no. No, this isn't a safe game. Tommy, stick to the firewood. Stick, stick to your woodpile, Tommy. This isn't a safe, a safe, a safe job. If you want a safety, uh, no, don't do this. Stay, stay cutting firewood. That you'll be safer doing that, Tommy. Uh, yeah. Good to see you, Tommy. Uh, the fully charged gardener. I like this fella. Man, that saw is ripping. Great video, guys. Thanks, fully charged. Love it, brother. Kevin Knoll. I started watching, then just got sucked into it. Before I knew it, the end was there. <laughs> what? Part two? It's coming up. Part two's coming up. I'll get it out today for you to be a little later. Maybe for dinner time coffee, friends. What do you think? I think that's a good thing. Look at me how I'm standing right now, friends. Look at that. Can you feel the energy I got today? I'm just like, oh yeah, let's get it. You need a head on that sucker? Sure, let's go. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm in a good mood. That's what happens to me. What happened? Oh, here we go. Sorry, friends. Ah. Boom. Be moob. I'm just gonna, this was a day ago, friends. The, 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 see, I missed so many. I wish I didn't miss them all. Uh, be Mook BM, your kindness is spreading worldwide. I'm seeing signs in people's yards saying, be kind. I'm never remind, 
I never remember seeing that before. You are a true inspiration. Love from PA. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to talk about that for a minute. Friends, if you go back to the beginning of my videos, okay, right, right back to the start, okay, uh, this, this has been coming, friends, th this love that you're feeling and this kindness and these people. Friends, I'm at the gas station the other day and I see a little sign on there, you know, with their little new rules with our landscape right now, saying all these things about what to do and you can't come inside the gas station. And remember, be safe and be kind. This is, this is what really, really made me feel super, super good inside. Just, just look at this. I'm at the gas pump here, okay? This is where I'm at. And look, they have their notice, right, about everything. And look at this. And remember to be kind to one another. Stay safe and remember to be kind to one another. It's working, friends. It's working. That 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 would I, that's that's new information for for a, a warning letter. Let's keep it up. In dark letters, I took a I took a friends. This has been coming for a while, friends. It's been coming for about I have felt it really strongly for about six seven years. Probably when I think about it, probably more like ten but really hard for about six or seven years, hard. Ellen DeGeneres, Ellen DeGeneres, she talks about being kind all the time. That's her thing, I didn't even know that. So isn't that special, friends? So something as simple as be kind. But here's the deal, here's the deal. Look at me, look at how I'm standing right now. I'm almost like, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm very passionate about this, friends, is what I am. When you see my videos and you see uh, uh, some printing come up or some script come up on the screen and it says, we're going to change the world. Friends, that's not a joke for me. That's darn serious. I take it real serious. I take the fact that we have 161,000 people here now coming to this channel, I take it extremely serious that you have me in your homes at night and, and that maybe the next day you will go out and hold a door for somebody or walk by somebody and look them in the face and give them a nod and a wink or something. Just, just something other than fearing one another and thinking that you want something from me or I'm going to take something from you. I just don't understand that. I, 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 I don't understand it. So with our landscape now, this is, you know that old thing like when you have a, a wedding or, 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 or a funeral and you see everybody you haven't seen in like the past 10, 15, 20 years and you say, geez, man, I sure miss you. It's a shame that it has to be an event like this that we get to see one another, isn't it? Yeah, right? So... Unfortunately, it's sometimes an event like what's happening right now in our world that gratitude for the things around us and the people around us and the things we have in our homes and food become apparent, a little more apparent to us, right? Friends, you know the thing about cliches? Is that rain? Because if it's rain, I got to move the wood. I don't think it's rain. We're having a guy right now, he's doing some trim for us in that. Uh, so what I'm telling you is the be kind, that's been coming for a long time. I'm just here to help it move along. That's all I'm gonna do and I will not stop. I will not stop. I'll go out. I'll go out uh, with, the, with the love flag up in the air. I will. So that's what you'll be seeing here and some tree cutting and power saws and axes. Now, back to this. I, got, I, I wanted to do this video. You can tell my energy's up right now. I wanted to do it. And, and, I, and I'm freaking doing it. There's Stephen Durables. Good morning, Buckin. Hope everything is well. Derek Duringong. Buckin, we need t-shirts that say stand up and buck. It's done. 
We're doing it. Stand up and buck. We're doing it. It's happening. The kid, this is Damon Smith. Listen to Damon Smith. The kid, Hogan, right, has jumped leaps and bounds in a year. It's starting to make sense, and you can see it. So glad to see him enjoying it. It's never work when you truly enjoy what you're doing. It's true. He, I'm so happy for him, friends. I really am. Robbie Vizcaro. Vizcara. Robbie, I just purchased an Arvika, and I'm going to go up and split some wood for the neighbors. Good man. Good for you, buddy. Gabriel Cash. Uh, he has something pointing towards oh, uh, 40 seconds. Is there an axe? Oh, yeah. When I ask Hogan about the axe, that's beautiful, man. Gabriel, thanks, and, and thanks for being here, buddy. Andrew McIntosh. You've, you've getting some glorious sunny days there. Yes, we are, Andrew. Thanks, buddy. We are. Uh, basically, what Andrew's saying, friends, is keep up the good work. You're doing awesome, keeping everybody's morale in this crazy world. Uh, I hope you and the family, friends, are bucking armies, doing well. Stay safe. Awesome, brother. Thanks so much. William Robinson ran out of trees to fall around the yard, so this is enough to fill me for the day. Ha! <laughs> right on, brother. Right on, William. Thanks for being here, buddy. Josh Sprato. Josh Sprato. Now, here's a man. Josh bought an axe off me, friends. Have a wonderful day, everyone. And he means it. He means it. Great guy. Uh, friends, Jim Allen, 13 comments, nearly the first one. Hope is all well in these times. Uh, Kenny S. again, nobody. My God, you were, were, when you were racing your son, it looked like you had a laser going through that tree. Friends, that 371 that Iron Horse made me, that sucker was cutting. Like, friends, people get excited about, they think when they shave their rakers right down and the saw pulls them into the wood, that's great in wood like this. I, I agree with you. You you it, crack them down. You get into something like this. Guess what? It ain't happening. It ain't happening unless you got 150 horse off the end of your finger. It's just friends. Uh, the raker thing. That power saw. Believe it or not, I think I showed it in the video. I did show it in the video. My rakers were literally like they 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 could have used a hit if I was bucking smaller wood. Truly, they were high. Uh, here, just a sec, friends. I got to get back to something here. Right there. Boom. Bang. Newest comments. Shaklank. Kenny Croft. Awesome. Uh, we got that one. Robert Chica. I like the way you knocked the post in just a bit further. <laughs> you saw that, eh? Eric Lind. Eric. Thank you for your comment, brother. It's a long one. David Broad. Farmer Jackson, Bobby 8088, Kevin McManus, Primitive Road, No Warning Signs, Duffy 588, basically just says, be kind. Brother, you're awesome. Thanks for being here. Daniel Martin, do you find it easier to buck with a long bar? I just got an MS-462 with a 28. That thing can buck. Yep, 28 short for me. Ethan Bull, haven't been able to see the past videos, but I hope you are safe during this time. Keep it up, man. Right on. Thanks, Ethan. I don't know why you haven't seen the latest videos. Michael Fresh, Sean Stick, Carmasness, Casterman. So friends, basically, I just wanted to come on and, and thank you all so much for your freaking comments. In the, in, I'm not letting freaking go. No, not even. Don't even think about it. Freaking's not leaving. I will keep freaking. Freaking, I think, is better than the other one. That, that's, that's a substitute for the F word. You know what I mean? There's a couple of substitutes. I think freaking's quite nice. Yeah. Michael McDonald, I'm sitting here in a Lazy Boy rocker in my house. And I swear I can smell fresh cut wood. <laughs> nice, buddy. Steve Wolf. Great stuff, Buck. And thanks, Steve. 
Becky Davis, our lovely Becky Davis. Okay, friends, I I, I, I don't want to sit here and just yell names out, but when I was at, I was in the house a few minutes ago and I was like, there's all these comments and they're not answered. I, I, I wanted to come on and just give you guys some love and say hi. It's plain and simple. That's all that was going on for me. So let's let's turn that off. Um, yeah. We're doing our best here, friends, to, to, to keep things uh, moving. We're not going out. We're doing what our government uh, would like us to do. We're just doing it. We're not going against what they're saying. I've been out to the bush a little bit here and there, uh, which uh, is good because there's nobody around, right? Nobody around there. second part of that video for you guys gals women and children thanks everybody sincerely i know i'm in a crazy mood right now but it means a lot that you guys hang around in the comment section and say all kinds of nice things i love it when you're talking to one another it makes me happy i'll see you guys on the next video which will be later today over and out friends be kind